Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my first update for my lip products I want to use up in 2023. At the end of last year, in December of 2022, I started this, well, I introduced you guys to, I believe it was 26 lip products that I wanted to pan in 2023. Um, the number 26 doesn't really mean anything. I just grabbed a bunch of lip products that I wanted to use up and it, they equal to 26 items. So um, I did manage to use up two lip products uh, during December of 2022. So you won't see them here because they already made their way to my empties of 2022. But it, it was the, um, the potted... Too Faced, no, Fresh, the, the Potted Too, oh my gosh, the Potted Sugar Fresh Lip Balm in the scent like caramel or something like that. And the other one was a Clinique uh, Pink Honey Lip Balm. Those two I did use up in December 2022, so you guys saw them in my makeup empties. So you can, you wanna see everything I used up in 2022, head over to that video and you can watch it again. Uh, so I, ended, I started 2023 working on 24 items and i am happy to say in the last three months three months being december january and february i was able to finish five items four lip products and one lip liner and i'm super stoked because i feel like i've started the year like really really good so oh i forgot one i have in my car hold on okay so i'm gonna start with the five items that i finished starting with the lip liner if you guys are my partners in cream you guys know already which one i finished but it's this booksome power line powerful plump sorry the color is powerful plump and it's the color that i am wearing today i used it for the last time today all used up nothing rolls up anymore so i'm happy that i got this one lip liner down and then the other four products are um lip products there's two minis or travel size i guess you can say come on stay there ah <laughs> these products okay and then two full-size items so starting with the smallest um, I have another lip balm from sugar this is the other sugar lip balm that I finished this is the rosé one as you guys can see all used up I don't dig into my bullets because I have over 200 lip balms and ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> so used it up really liked it it's already getting warm here it's like I think it's like 78 76 degrees today it feels super hot maybe that's why, I feel, why i'm feeling short of breath because i feel hot too um but it's funny because uh, today is sunday when i'm filming this uh tuesday which was what five days ago uh we had snow so crazy crazy weather anyway this one's done glad that i used it up I, my goal was to use it up before it got really hot here and it melted and it made it hard to apply so i'm glad that i used it up in the colder months then i used up my buxom uh, lip gloss in the color white russian this was in another project pan um have you guys seen this update i don't even know but i know it's in a project pan because it had it has that line right there i did remove the stopper on this guy and i was able to clean out everything it does look like i have quite a bit of product but it's the packaging you guys this is a one of those packagings that it looks like there's a lot of product but then once you see how much is actually in there it's not a lot and I just get out as much as I can with the wand. I'm not gonna get a beauty spatula and scoop that out. I'm good with having used up as much as I did because as you guys can see through the hole here, through the opening, uh, it's pretty clean. So I'm happy with that. So that one's done. Then I used up a MAC lip gloss, thankfully, because oh my gosh, I didn't really care for this guy. This is how much of product I have. And I know someone's gonna be like, well, you still can't get product out of there. but. You know what this was laying on its side for the longest time um, i did remove the stopper on this guy and i again i scooped out as much as i could with the wand if i really wanted to and if i loved this product i would wait a little bit longer maybe lay it on its side more so i can continue scooping that out but this is so old and gloopy and thick and sticky that it's not my favorite formula so i'm happy with how much i product i finished like i said i used took out the stopper and I'm gonna put this in my back to Mac. Hopefully I can do a back to Mac uh, sometime this week because um, Kat from, oh my gosh, what is her name? Kat from, uh, oh my gosh. It's not Beauty News, but she's the ha half of Beauty News. Um, 
she was saying that they're doing away with a back to Mac uh, program and I have a bag full of Mac products that I've been waiting to do a back to Mac with and now is the time apparently. So glad that I, I finished that one just in the nick of time. And the last product that I finished is a lip, liquid lipstick uh, from Stila in the color Bocce. And this one, I did not remove the stopper, but you guys can see through, I hope, how clean the container is on the sides. I didn't take out the stopper of this one because this is not my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. It's very drying on the lips and I just don't like it. If you put it against the, the, the light, like you can definitely see how well it's been cleaned out. But I am not gonna take out the stopper because I am not a fan of, like I just said, of the formula. So those are the five items that I finished in the last three months. So I'm very, very happy. I am currently working on four products, uh, two lip balms that I'm using. The first one is uh, from that place in Bratislava. Um, I, I keep saying that I, get, I got this in Bratislava, but I don't know the name of the store. So I'm just gonna say the, this lip balm that I got on vacation from now on because I feel like people feel like I'm like name dropping <laughs> where I got it from and that's not my intention. It's just, it's in, it's in Slovakian and I can't read Slovakian and I don't know the name of the store and so. I'm just gonna say I got this on vacation. Uh, there's a little bit of a dip in there. It kind of looks like a heart. Can you guys see? Kind of, sort of, <laughs> I think so. Um, I use this every single night. So it's gonna take me a while to use this guy up, but I am enjoying it very, very much. And then the other one that I'm working, uh, the other lip balm that I'm using right now, it's from Jane Iredale, the Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain in, it doesn't have a color, oh, Forever Pink. And this is what it looks like. This one was completely pointed at the tip, like it was kind of pointed like, like this, with a pointed tip in the center. And I hope you guys can see, this one, had, there's no more tip, it's all rounded. Uh, I kind of do apply it like 90 degrees on my lips. Sometimes, no, Toby. Uh, sometimes I use this as my work lip balm. Uh, I, as most of you guys know, if not all of you guys know, I work in a hospital, so I'm still required to wear a mask at work. And so in order to get use of my products, I am trying to use my liquid lipsticks, or in this case, a stain. Um, that way I can work through my products throughout you know, the day since I can't really reapply uh, products uh, at work. And I just don't want to apply a regular lipstick or lip gloss and then have it all smeared on my face. Um, when I take off my face, my mask to, you know, go on break or for my lunch or whatever. So I use something like this that will stay on my lips and I move around. I enjoy it. It's very subtle. Um, it's not something that I will use my own money. This came as a freebie on an Ulta purchase. And then the liquid lipstick that I'm really using, uh, on a daily basis, this is like sometimes if I feel like it, but this one is the one I'm using for my everyday under my mask color. And it's the Queen Bee. No, the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Queen Bee. I really love this. That's the color right there. Like my lips, but better. Uh, and this one doesn't have, you can't see anything. I've just started using it recently. I love how this smells. <laughs> uh, I started using it recently and I, it's gonna take me a while. I mean, this, and it doesn't have a lot of product. Uh, it has three mLs, but I feel like it's still gonna take me a decent amount of time. This one from Stila had, how much did this one have? Oh my gosh, no way. How can it be? They have the same amount of product. <laughs> you guys, these two products have the same amount of product in there. One fluid ounce, no, 0.1 fluid ounce or three mLs. How crazy is that? And look, there's so much packaging in here. That's just Goes to say, you know, the packaging in this guy is deceiving. Wow. I thought like maybe this was like half of this. Well, this only has three ml, so I should be going with, through this one in about a month and a half or so uh, from using it daily under my mask at work. So, wow, that's crazy. And then the other product that I'm using is this one. This is the my, my like going out, every Sunday type lip product and it's the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution in the color Sheer Shame and that is how much product I have left. This product was completely brand new 
when I put it in this project um, last December. So I'm just gonna put it, put, well, actually, hold on, grab the wrong lipstick. This is the other lip product that I have in this project, and they were brand new. This one, they're, they're both brand new, but this is the one I've been using. And that is basically how much progress I have made since I started using this uh, in this project. Uh, I'm hoping that I can finish this one sooner rather than later. And then I'll have another, like a full size lipstick. I'm really trying to work on my Revolution lipsticks from Urban Decay because they are the oldest lipsticks in my collection. And they, they've been discontinued for a while now. So, and I have, I don't know, like 20 of them. <laughs> so I really want to get my use out of them. I am wearing it today. Like I said, I was using it every time I use this lip liner. And sometimes when I get in the car, you know, after work and I know I'm just coming home, I'll just apply this instead of applying this, reapplying that one or this one. These are kind of like the ones I have in my car. I used to um, really, like I've noticed that I am, I have lately, I've been using several lip products at a time, whereas before I used to be like one lip product at a time and reapply and reapply until I used it up and then I would move on to the next one. But because I have to wear a mask at work, I have to be really selective of what I can wear under the mask without it moving and how much I can reapply. So it's been a year of learning <laughs> in regards to uh, what lip products I have been using. So I still have all these right here that I have not touched or used uh, and I'm gonna run through them super fast because this video is long enough. I have three lip liners. This one I just introduced into my uh, Partners in Cream project pan. So I'll be focusing on that one and then these two a mauvey one and a bright pink are gonna be perfect for like the like the spring and hopefully the fall. So I have those two. Then I have three full size lipsticks that I wanna work on. I have two from Urban Decay from the Revolution lipstick line. I have one in the sheer formula and it's sheer F bomb, which is a sheer red. It's not as intense on the, on the lips as it looks on the bullet. And the other one is the regular Revolution lipstick in the color Turn On. It's a really creamy, opaque color, pinky color. My lips but better. I love this formula in this color. The other lipstick that I have is a drugstore one from Maybelline. And this is in the color uh, Naked Coral. It's a matte shade, uh, brand new, haven't used it. <laughs> Swatched it a couple of times, but I like how it smells. Uh, hopefully I can use that one up. It's I said in my introduction video that it had been like three or four years, but I think it's been more like five years. It's been a long time. And then I have two mini lipsticks. I have one from Marc Jacobs in the color uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Very sad I was not able to get like full size of these lipsticks when they were available. And then the other one is from Bite Beauty in the color Kimchi and it's a bright hot pink color. I love these types of color for me in the spring. Um, bold colors I just love. <laughs> I really, really enjoy them. Then I have, I believe, two liquid lipsticks um, left from the stash here. I have a full size from e.l.f. And this is the Modern Metals liquid lipstick in the color, oh, it doesn't say, but this one, it's kind of like a burnt orangey brown color, very pretty. This is another one that doesn't have a lot of product. Um, if I can take out the sticker. Like, look at how much packaging you guys is in there. It's probably just one ml. <laughs> if this one, if the other one, where is it? If this one is three mls, I, this is probably just the one ml. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. And then I have a mini one from Sephora, from the Sephora uh, uh, cream lip stains. Um, I love these. These are my favorite formula. And it doesn't have a number, just number 38. I mean, a name, it only has a number but it's a very pretty pinky mauvey color. Perfect for the fall, I think. And the rest that I have, well, I have one lip balm and it's from e.l.f. This is an SPF lip balm and this doesn't have a lot of product, but if you roll it up, um, it's super skinny, but that's all you have. This smells minty, I love it. I don't know if it'll be minty on the lips, but I like that it's minty. And then I have four lip glosses. The first one is a full size from um, Too Faced from the Pink Sugar line. This is a lip gloss uh, in the color. I don't know what color it is. But this one is 2.9 ml. Believe it or not, it's smaller than the liquid lipstick. I'm still in shock. Uh, so yeah, that's this one. And then the other three are, are deluxe size. So from Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy in the color 
um, oh, Spice Girl. It's a brown color right here, very pretty. Then from Buxom, I have the Full On Lip Cream in the color uh, Dolly. I've panned one of these before, so I know that I can use it fairly quickly. And then from Patrick Ta, I have the Major Glow Lip Shine in the color She's Expensive. And it's this one right here, very, very pretty. So uh, so those are the lip, pro lip products that I'm working on. I don't know if I'll have any of them finished. Well, I, I'm, I'm supposed to be updating, well, March, April, May, either at the end of May or at the beginning of June, I'm gonna be doing my second update and hopefully I'll have uh, more empties. It would be nice if I have another five finished, uh, but we'll see, I know that's a tall order to to ask for, but um, I don't know, I think it's doable. I, I finished a combination of full size and deluxe size products this time around, so I feel like I can do it if I really put my, my mind to it. So anyway, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.